Hello from Glencoe. In autumn, stunning colours. It's going to be a great day out. My plan is to get up to the Lost Valley, go and see some beautiful golden bracken, golden light. The light's fantastic. I'm really looking forward to it. Come and join me and let's see what we can get. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden Golden, golden, golden things Well, it's October now and I mean, like mid-October and this is the best time of year to come and do photography in Glencoe. It is absolutely stunning. Look at them colours, they're absolutely beautiful. And today the light, for the first time, I was going to come out a bit earlier, but the light has been rubbish and it's been raining for weeks and weeks. And I was quite liking the rain to give me some water in the rivers because they were so dry, but we've had about four weeks of rain at the moment, so it's been a nightmare. Now I've got an apology to make in the fact that it's been about three weeks since my last blog and the problem is because we're so busy the summer has been mental it really has so i've been so busy that i've not really had any chance and something's had to give and i'm afraid my youtube channel has had to give a little bit unfortunately but i'm back now things have calmed down a little bit um, and i also bring some good news um i've won an award i know can't believe it it's not a photography award but it's still a nice little award the scottish enterprise have awarded me the best tourist attraction in the highlands believe it or not for 2021 so uh, yeah it was quite nice a bit of recognition there so it's quite nice so if you come on one of my tours you'll be the best tourist attraction in the highlands for 2021 so i'm delighted now the plan of attack for today is going to be i'm going to head on down to the lost valley the light is just coming around i'm a little bit early but the light's going to come around i'm hoping to get that light coming down the valley the orientation of the valley should just get that light coming towards me um, so I'm going to take a few shots on the way up, maybe a few waterfalls and all that kind of stuff. And then when I get to the valley bottom, I always struggle. I don't know about anybody else who's been to the Lost Valley for photography, but when you get to the valley bottom, it is a struggle. I really find it difficult to get good compositions. I don't know why, maybe it's just so flat and there's nothing there. So I'm going to challenge myself to try and get a stunning photo from the Lost Valley valley bottom. Cool. I'm just at the start of the track here which leads you up to the Lost Valley. I've parked in the main car park in Glencoe and I'm going to head up this way and the plan is, is to go over the gorge and then up into the valley itself. Now on the way there's a few little waterfalls and features which might be of interest so I'm going to do a few snaps of those as we go and then hopefully get up to the top. I'm going to flip you around and show you what I'm talking about. Here is the three sisters of Glencoe, there they are. There's Garb Anik and Anik do looking down the valley of Glencoe, the Glen of Coe itself. And I turn back around again, what you'll see is the sun is right in the camera there. Big no-no there, but it's just shining over Ben Fadder. And the plan will be is I'm going to come up, come around a bit further. I'm going to go up that valley there. And because I'm a little bit unfit, like we all are after this uh, lockdown, um, it's going to take me a little bit to get up there. And um, hopefully by that time, the sun would have come around and then start shining down the valley itself there. So the lost or hidden valley itself is a hanging valley. Basically what happened about 10,000 years ago was the last major glaciation. And there was a big glacier coming right behind me that went all the way down to the sea here um, about 10,000 years ago, gorging out that U-shaped valley, the classic glacial valley, which is Glencoe. And what happened is if I flip you around, you'll see that the hanging valley here is because there was a glacier coming down here and then it got truncated by the main glacier coming down here. And what happens is that then forms this what's called a hanging valley which is quite nice and it's quite impressive at the top and when we get up there i'll show you because it's just very flat it's an unusual area in the, the lost valley or the hidden valley and um, so it's quite nice uh, but that's the reason why we get this feature here so that's what i'm going to try and get to today mm -hmm. 
So I'm at the gorge section now. Any fans of Monty Python might recognise this bridge. In the Holy Grail, they had to walk across in the night and answer the three questions to get across. Uh, the, the gorge is actually really quite nice, but it's really difficult to get down in there. And a few weeks ago, where this river runs up here, um, a few weeks ago I did a meeting of the three waters when I went to try and actually find where the meeting of the three waters. I'll put the link up the top here. But it was, uh, it was a great video and this is the stream coming off, the River Co coming off um, from that. So uh, yeah, it's really good, but it's really tricky to get in. It's so enclosed, steep sides. So it's quite tricky to take a photo. Um, so maybe I might move a little bit higher up. So a bit of a worrying sign, a family's just passed me and they've just let me know that the stepping stones further on up there, which you have to use to cross over the river, are actually underwater. So I don't think we had that much rain in the night, but we must have had a bit more. Now the good thing with Glencoe is when the rivers do fill, because we're so close to the sea, they do empty quite quickly. So I've kind of got another 30 minutes to get to the stepping stones. And to be honest, I don't mind a bit wet feet. It's worth it, isn't it? So we'll see how we get on, but yeah, that's worrying. I'll let you know when we get there. So this is my real first glimpse of the waterfalls coming down here. And it does look quite full. I'm a bit nervous about them stepping stones. Uh, but this is a great little waterfall here. The only trouble is, is how to shoot it. You just can't get down there. It's so deep in this gorge section. I might grab the drone out just to get some nice tracking shots. Um, but I'm going to get a bit closer and see if I can get a camera shot. But I'm going to need the wide angle lens on this because I'm going to get so close to this waterfall and it's so massive. Trying to fit it all in the frame might be tricky. I could do a series of shots panoramics, but the problem with that with water is when you're trying to blur water and stitch all these things together, it takes hours on the computer. So, you know what, I'm just going to give it a go with a wide angle lens and let's see how we get on. I'm down at the waterfall and I think the competition's pretty good really. Really nice, a, a good foreground interest and the, the good waterfall. I'll show you the composition in a minute, but I just need a moment just to take a breath. Because I don't know about you, but when you do photography, it can be on the edge of your nerves sometimes. And particularly when you've got your brand new camera on your brand new tripod, trying to roll the polarizer when the camera's hanging over 10 foot of water. I'll show you what I mean. So here's my camera, and it's all held on by that little bracket there. So, yes, I think my blood pressure's gone up somewhat, because if it does go, it's right in the drink. Okay, I've got the composition set up here. I've got it on the camera here, so you can have a look. And what I've got is I've got this magic finger in, here it comes. I've got the foreground interest, so this nice big boulder here on the actual photo. There's a bit of a gap between this. Normally you wouldn't leave that overlap in there. And then I've got this nice fast flowing water. I've got to be careful, this is really fast flowing water. So I don't want to slow it down too much. Um, but I've got this glary water here. I've already taken a check shot and it's just coming out quite sort of white and not very interesting. So what I've gone and done is I've gone and put a polarizer on. And as I rotate that polarizer around, you'll see that the water is now gone all dark and I can start seeing into the water and seeing the boulders and the rocks a little bit. So that's working really nice. And what that's going to do is it's going to increase the contrast between this really white water here and then this, this darker area around this of the photograph. I do notice a bit of glare in the top corner here, so I'm going to have to work on that. I'm going to have to put my hand over it just to remove that glare. I'm really hopeful for this shot. It's going to be great. Let's see how we get on.
So I've got to the river and it's not that full. I think you can get by it. Just round here I'll show you there. There's some guys just looking at it now. That's the stepping stones where you should really get over. But I see one or two of the boulders have moved so they might get their feet wet. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to try a little bit higher up. I've just met somebody with dry feet so they must have gone a bit higher up so I'm going to give that a go and see how we get on. Well I made it. <laughs> it was a bit of a <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you it was a little bit of a crag hop and you think the amount of times I've been up here <laughs> it does just show you don't follow everybody else sometimes doesn't it anyway I've got over feet are still dry no bruises yet there's a bit of screaming going on down there so I think somebody's got the feet wet but uh, the next section just a little bit of I'm going to flip you around and I've just got to climb up this little section here all the way up to the top of that crag and then we're nearly there but unfortunately as you can see the light has gone a little bit i was hoping that sun would break out but it's clouded over but uh hey ho we'll have a look see how we get on hopefully i don't fall off this crag bit So here's the big reveal, lovely hidden valley or lost valley of Glencoe and it's a beautiful amphitheatre here and as I spin around you'll see and I'll spin all the way around to the back where it goes and then it just drops off there back into the Glen of Coe itself and there is the hanging valley and as I spin around again you'll see that we've got this lovely flat bottom floor here coming all the way along here and then this beautiful amphitheatre around here but it is really tricky to shoot I've really struggled with it and I, I don't know why I find it so difficult there's just nothing here and there is a bit of light coming in from my left hand side which is what I wanted really but it's just not enough and it's clouded over a little bit so I'm going to set up a shot it might be a picture postcard shot rather than something that's going to be on my wall but um, it's worthwhile shooting it anyway and what I've done is this I'm, I've, I've had to bracket this that light has come in and there's a little bit of sun coming over the top and I tried shooting it with filters but the problem is is because the mountain it's sort of it, it kind of bows up and down if I flip you around I'll show you what I mean it kind of bows up and down so when I put a filter on the top it kind of filtered the mountain as well and I could see this uh, this graduated filter on this mountain so what I did in the end is I ended up just putting a uh, bracket in and taking about five shots to try and get the exposure correct. Um, and also in terms of composition, what I've gone and done is I've gone and used the little footpath that is a leading line that leads the eye over to where the end, the bottom of the, of the, the valley is. So hopefully it's going to come out all right. Like I say, it's probably going to be a picture postcard shot. So I'm going to talk you through the composition of the shot. The problem is, is if you get here really early at doors, the, the trouble is, is the sun is over to my left, it's over that way. So it doesn't actually get round into this little valley until sort of midday this time of year and even later. So you've kind of got to get here a bit later. It's no good doing a sunrise shoot here because you just don't get anything because you're in shade all the time because the orientation. So yeah, this is kind of a one, two o'clock in the afternoon sort of shoot with the sun coming down on the right hand side. Um, unfortunately, it's gone in a little bit. Um, the composition is what I've used is if I flip you around and what I've used is I've used this footpath here as a leading line and that's going to lead me eye to the valley bottom and then obviously up to the top maybe up to the top of the mountain here that's some quarry scrum and um, this 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 track here is going to lead the eye down and the danger is is I'd, I'd actually started off gotten a little bit too low uh, and then I lost the lead a little bit so the thing is with leading lines is is always make sure you get a little bit of elevation and then that gives you that lead in taking you through to the valley bottom there um, it's a lovely shot I'm going to see how we get on glad that was a little bit of an adventure for us i enjoyed that thanks uh, for watching and um, if you like what you saw give me a thumbs up it always is most appreciated and if you really like what you're listening to subscribe it just encourages me to carry on doing these videos we don't get paid as youtubers believe it or not at this level so even just saying thank you by giving me a thumbs up makes a real big difference for my morale 
Um, I'm going to head on back down now for a well-earned cup of tea. Uh, but there is the Lost Valley. Hopefully sometime I'll come up again and we'll get a decent light on here. But uh, I'm definitely happy with the waterfall shot. That was actually beautiful. So worthwhile coming. I hope you liked what you see and we'll see you in the next video. I've gone the wrong way. Oh, it's only wet feet, forget it. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Yes, yes! <laughs>